Hello, this is Jack Lever. That's me there on the elephant at the left. Um, to, to some of you, I am your sponsor in Empower Network. To some of you, uh, I, I may have sponsored you into Instant Payday Network. And many of you are just kind of looking over over the fence here and, and peeking in on, on what's going on. And, may, and uh, maybe you're just... Um, uh, benefiting from the information that I provide you on a, on a daily basis. And this is a gem here that I want to give you. This is a, a, an absolute um, golden nugget that I want to give you right here. So I want to encourage you to listen all the way to the end of this video uh, so that you can get all the information you need. Um, this is information uh, from a, a million-dollar earner, Tony Rush, in Empower Network. He's been in, uh, in other companies before, and he's he's uh, been a, a top earner in other companies, and, and he is a, a success phenomenon. And it's very important that uh, that you wrap your head around um, around stuff from million-dollar earners and others who have been extremely successful in business. And you could go home with this, whether you're in Empower Network or not, and you can apply this to any business. Um, the title of it, you can see right here, is uh, Making Friends with Money. And Tony Rush is going to talk all about this. Now, <clears throat> I, I need to say parenthetically, these are going to be golden nuggets that are that, that I'm going to present to you based on on um, information that's in the inner circle audio. Now, obviously, it's a lot funner, and it's 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 you're going to get the full impact of Tony Rush's um, principles by going to the inner circle yourself. Uh, those of you who are in the Power Network know what I'm talking about. I would encourage you to listen to that. Um, but if you don't have the Inner Circle tapes, if you're not in Empower Network, I want to give you these golden nuggets. And and um, and listen very, very carefully to what Tony Rush has to say. And, and I honestly believe, you know, guys, every now and then I come across an audio uh, in the Empower Network that just floors me. You know, I listen to them every week and they're all good. But every now and then I, I come across one that is just so powerful that I that I just have to give this information to to the the people in my in you know my subscribers and my group and you know Empower Network does encourage its members to 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 uh, do presentations like this uh, it's just that we're not allowed to to just send you the real audio tape so obviously you're going to want to check out the real audio that it's the best way to to get um, Tony's you know, emotion involved with this and, and his accent. He's a, he's a guy that's from Alabama and it's just fun to listen to him. So let me tell you what, it, what he has here. And, you know, and again, like I said, go all the way to the end here. I even encourage you to leave your comments below and give me your opinions in, in, in this blog below and, and also in YouTube. Leave your comments below so that we can get, get your insight and your feelings about the principles I'm about ready to, to teach you. Um, that you know Tony Rush is, has presented very important stuff. So here we go. The, the, this is Tony Rush's story right here. You know, a little short snippet here. Uh, Tony came into a power network because he wanted to find a way to enhance his current business. He wanted to learn how to generate more leads and turning those leads into sales. You know his plan was okay. Hey, I'm just going to come over here and learn what Dave Wood and Dave Sharp are doing, and I'm going to take this information over to, into my other business. And really knocked the cover off the ball. In other words, he just wanted to to learn the information from the products and take them to his business because he learned how how great they were. Now, as it happens, about five weeks afterwards, he's after he started into Empower, he noticed that uh, he happened to have a couple hundred dollars a day coming into his bank account and affiliate commissions. And it kind of surprised him. His wife actually alerted him to it. Uh, again, he didn't come into Empower for the business opportunity. Now, Tony says this. He says, just like everyone else, he noticed that he didn't have to chase family and friends. You know, he didn't have to make a list of everyone since kindergarten. You know, suddenly he, he started to use a simple system of Empower Network, and within a, short, a few short months, he was earning about $500 a day. Now, uh, one day, uh, Tony was at a webinar with Dave Wood, and, and he said, okay, I'm going to show you how to make a thousand dollars a day as a as an affiliate in the Empower Network program, and he thought, okay, rather than Mickey Mouse around, you know, rather than second guess, rather than follow my instincts, which is to reinvent the wheel, rather than turning simple things into complicated things, he says, what if I did exactly what he said to do? Okay, uh, you know, what would that look like? Uh, and <clears throat> 
He went the next month and he did exactly what Dave Wood taught at the webinar and he made $34,000 in his fifth month in the business. Six months later, he was making $100,000 per month in personal net income. Um, now, 18 months in the business, uh, this business has pulled in over a million dollars into his bank account, by the way. Now, I, I want to mention something here parenthetically. Um, make sure, you know, you know his, his, his results are, are unique, and he admits that, okay? And results do vary, okay? And not everyone is going to do this. You know, not, and, you know, th this is a business. And uh, some people are, are going to make a million dollars. Some will make uh, less. Some will make nothing. And, you know, it all depends on, on your motivation level and, and how you're able to plug into the system. And no, so nobody can guarantee any income here, obviously. So go to uh, EmpowerNetwork.com in, uh, slash income.php and you can find the, the average earnings. So let me go on with, you know, with that disclaimer because we have to keep the suits, the guys in suits happy here. But he, you know, he has another story that, that's really interesting and I have a few too. But let me just tell you a story that he tells about. And you know, and, and this is probably more to home, more more to home to most people. So here's the story. You know, a single mom in Ohio living with mom and dad after a divorce, with two kids living it, living uh, with her, trying to figure out how to pay the bills. Start follow, and she starts following a system and creating a nice hundred dollar bill every day. Now that's he says that's a life changing story. And he tells another quick story. Sam Crowley from Ohio, a personal development speaker, speaks for a lot of network marketing companies, but never got involved in one himself. And he sees this in you know Empower Network and says, I think there's something here and I can sink my teeth into it. He comes into Empower Network and not only does he make multiple six figures, but he's got a group of people who are doing the same. So whenever he sees something doing, so this is what I, you know, those are some great stories, but this is what he pointed out, okay? Whenever he sees someone uh, doing something really well, he asks himself, you know, if, if you were to really narrow it down, you know, he would ask a million dollar earner, he says, if you were really to narrow it down to just a few things, what are you doing different than the masses, okay? Every, you know, every top performer talks about the following, you know, and the, this top is the topic is not talked about in society. This is the topic. He says um, the topic is personal responsibility and self-reliance. Now, what does this have to do with becoming a millionaire? He's going to tell you about that right now. He's going to expound on this in a way that maybe you've never thought of before. Now, and he says this. He says this information is worth at least a couple of million dollars in personal income if you apply it. And he says at least that it's, it's done that for me and he has confidence that it could happen for you. Now, here's the analogy. Now. Listen carefully, carefully to this analogy. Now, in fact, he warns, he says, he warns that uh, the following is going to tick a few of you off for about 30 seconds. But he says, let me explain what I mean, and, and it'll become clear. So, but he, he asked, please hang on long enough for me to explain. And this is what he says, okay? Now, he says, if someone comes to him and says, okay, for example, I'm in a job where, my, where I'm being sexually harassed. He says, you know, uh, you need to take personal responsibility for that. Now he says, be careful. Tony says, I, I told you this is going to be controversial. He says, after I clarify what I'm talking about, you'll understand that this is a core success thing. If you're in a business, for example, if you're in a business where everyone else is making money and you're not making money, uh, you need to take personal responsibility for that. He says, okay, he says, it sounds like I'm being a jerk. But this, but here's what I mean, he says, okay? Let's look at the word personal responsibility. You know, what does that mean? What does it mean to take personal responsibility? You know, a lot of people think that it means blame. You know, whose fault is it? Because, you know, that's how society thinks. You know, watch the news. Something bad's happening. The first thing they want to ask is whose fault it is it? You know, who's to blame? He said, let's forget about fault and blame for a minute. And, you know, and he says, what is the difference between fault and blame? which is a very negative and very victimhood thing. And let's compare that to personal responsibility. So what is uh, responsibility? Uh, for one thing, it's one of those words that people don't like very much. It's, it's a lot like the word discipline. It's not sexy and it's not light, light and frothy. But look at what the word responsibility means. He says, um, he says that the word means you have the ability to respond. 
you have the ability to respond. Okay, you've got you've got the ability to make a response. That's why he says if someone is in, a, in an abusive re relationship, no, it's not their fault. Um, uh, no, they are not to blame for that situation at all, but they have to take responsibility. They have to say to themselves, you know, if I'm going to change my life, I'm going to um, I'm going to, to have to get into a different situation. I've got to be willing to take ownership of this situation and reserve for myself the ability to respond. You know, whether that means, you know, going to get help, going to the police, uh, you know, going to a counselor or whatever is required. This person has the ability to respond. So if someone says, okay, <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm overweight. You know, if you want to lose 10 pounds, you need to take personal responsibility. You know, let's forget all about blame. Some people want to blame McDonald's. You know, I, re I remember there was a lawsuit not too long ago. Somebody was trying to sue McDonald's for, you know, having fattening food. Well, that's, that's, that's on the side of blame. You know, someone wants to blame Wall Street or the Federal Reserve or the economy for, being, for them being broke. You know, that's all about placing blame. He says, you know, that's all on the wrong side of the table. That's all on the side of fault and blame. You know, he says that uh, what we are talking about is attributes that Im improve personal responsibility. You know, maybe there's a problem with with all those outside influences, but but what's what's my stake in it? You know, wh where am I going to take my personal responsibility? So again, uh, you have to take respons You have to take ownership of the the situation and reserve. For yourself, reserve for myself the ability to respond. You know, he talked about his own situation, and this is very important, guys. So make sure to stay right here to the end because I'll admit that you know um, um, uh, Tony Rush, with his his awesome accent and his personality and his own story, really makes this alive. But you know, bear with me as I go right to the end. Okay. At age 31, uh, he could barely pay his rent. He was in an awful situation, he said. He had a long list of reasons why his life wasn't working, but he didn't put himself on the list. You know, he didn't take responsibility for his own business. It was always someone else's fault. And, you know, he said, John Lavinia once told him, okay, Tony, you're in your life right now because of your best thinking, okay? And he realized that everyone in the in that neighborhood, uh, let, let me back up here, um, Here's the trans transition in his life. He said one day he was driving through a neighborhood that was much more stable than his own. He thought it was like a postcard neighborhood. He looked at the neighborhood and he thought, every house looks like a postcard. Everyone else is doing better than me. And he realized that everyone in that neighborhood was, they were paying the same gas prices, the same food prices, the same person was in the White House, same person in the city. But why is it that these people are doing better than me? And, and why are all these people doing uh, better than me, and, and you know, and why am I grinding? You know, he said that's always a good question to ask. You know, the le the next thing, the next day, he turned to his wife and he said, "Okay, uh, we're moving. Okay, we're packing up. I'm going to to the grocery store. I'm getting boxes and we're packing." And she said, "Okay, we don't have any money." He said, "I know that," and I, you know, he said, "I felt terrible." He said, "You know, his wife said that that we can't afford to move. How are we going to do it?" He said, I don't know. All I know is that I'm, I'm not going to, to die living in this house. He said that uh, I don't know if, if we're moving today or next month or next year, but all I know is I'm, going, I'm not going to go through the motions of mediocrity anymore. He said, I'm going to do whatever I can from where I am with what I've got. I'm going to do whatever I can from where I am from, you know, with what I've got. So anyway, um, they packed up everything. You know, they lived in their kitchen, their computer area. You know, they, um, he not in their kitchen, but around their kitchen. Um, he he came home every day and started packing. He found and what he found out was this: when I started to take action from where I was with what I had, I started to make money, eight hundred to to twelve hundred dollars a week, which is pretty good for him at that point in his life. And he says the the funny thing is is that he changed nothing. Um, you know, it was the same company, same marketing, you know, same team, same everything, um, same economy. But when he decided to take ownership of his life, instead of writing the passenger seat of his own life, he started to make money. Um, 
and he says he decided, um, and, and you can see here what he earned. He says, I decided to get in the driver's seat and I started to make some moves. So um, that, that's when everything shifted. Suddenly the business that he was in, uh, because he decided to be self-reliant, because he decided to take personal responsibility from where he was, it, it was kind of like you know Napoleon Hill's uh, book, you know, Think and Grow Rich, where he said, you know, the money will come so quickly you'll wonder where it had been hiding all during all the lean years. He says that's exactly what happened to him. Now, this is the next thing he said: the life you want also wants you. The life you want also wants you. He says, stop pretending that your results have anything to do with outside factors. Not a thing. You know, people say you can't you can't make money in this economy, but yet we do. You know, people see a Mercedes Benz commercial and say, you know, no one can afford the, to buy those things. But Tony said, I bought one and I paid cash for it. Mercedes Benz will sell cars every day, and they don't care who they sell them to. So these are just a few of the, a few nuggets at first in this first part. Now, he said, uh, st stop pretending that your results um, that your results in life have anything to do with outside forces. Not a thing. Not a thing. Now, uh, th this is part of one of the series, personal responsibility. There, there's two more parts, and, uh, and it's coming in your inbox really soon. Now, uh, but like I said before, to hear and feel the full impact of all of the Inner Circle audios, including this one, go to your, your Empower Network back office today and click on My Products. Then click on Inner Circle. So, look out, again, look out um, in your inbox for the second and the third part. And I'm going to do my best to, to give a very detailed um, report again. And it's exciting. You know, it is really fun to listen to, to these audios. And I had a lot of fun listening to to uh, Tony Rush. He's always exciting and fun. In fact, he was the MC of our of our last event in Empower Network. And, you know, those of you who are in Empower Network, you know, I, I would encourage you to go to the next event. So anyway, this is Jack Later. I hope this this um, provided some value to you. I know it did to me. Uh, listen to this over and over again. And, uh, and, you know, if you're in Empower Network, you know, click on the Inner Circle Audio and, and check out uh, uh, Tony Rush's a tape here. So anyway, I'll talk to you later and enjoy things. Bye.